Hey everyone, Turtle here, coming at you with some more of these Darkness Ablaze double bonus boosters, whatever they call them. Um, I'm a real big fan of this product. So far, the pulls have been like uh, feast or famine almost. Uh, last um, on Thursday, we did a live break of some of these, and we pulled the Charizard V Max. So we're gonna see if we can't repeat some of that action. We have ten packs. Um, sometimes 10 packs is enough, sometimes it's not. So we have a couple extra on standby in the event that we don't find anything too good. And uh, alright, it takes a little bit to break these packs open. We will get be right back. And so we got the packs open. We do have this one left. Um, so I think I figured out the trick. And it's kind of like you just peel this back a little bit and just like flip this a couple times. And it makes like the layer between... Um, that's left pretty thin and of course it doesn't work this time <laughs> But uh, I feel like I just did like almost all of these and uh, Had a very clean break basically all this stuff is removed and then we could just get out the packs very easily But of course the one time I want to show it on camera doesn't work at all. So we got all ten packs opened and We'll do uh, let's do like five from five. So starting with some darkness ablaze. So we did find the Charizard VMAX uh, obviously, we're gonna want another one, but the other big hits we're looking for would be that Crobat, either rarity, and the probably as far as a secret rare, the secret rare I want the most, Rose Tower, nice, would be that Turbo Patch, and if we find a, another Rainbow Rare Rose, uh, we will take it for sure. But. So we have a knack of pulling those. We pulled one of those for ourselves. We pulled one of those for our patron, Steve. We sent a booster box. Uh, shout out to Rockstar won a uh, booster box giveaway we did. And he also had a Rainbow Rare Rose. So I think we're good on Rose. And again, I, I do like this product because we do get opportunities to crack more sword and shield uh, when you think of or at least for anyone that plays like the online game tries to uh, and is working on like standard competitive decks as far as supporters a lot of it is still you know research and Marnie so I love the opportunity to continue to try to find those full arts uh, those rainbow rare versions of those cards and uh, so and of course the gold quick ball would be the big prize from sword and shield Obviously, you also got like Zamazenta and Zacian. And all right, let's do one more Darkness of Blaze. So far, pretty rough. And that has felt like it's kind of been the story of these Darkness of Blaze packs in these blisters. Is um, I feel like we get hits on the Sword and Shield side, and uh, not too many on the Darkness of Blaze. Even even the time when we did find that Rainbow Rare Charizard, I, I think we had. I think actually, I think it was two and two. So, but definitely as the first time we had a pretty good split R rose reverse Ooh, okay we got our first mew definitely um as far as mew cards go uh kind of different uh mew a lot of times can use attacks from like his bench or something like that uh this attack does 30 damage for each energy attached to both pokemon oh so this is like um is this the same thing as Vatini? let's just take a look at centering Centering's not bad uh, I feel like Mew is always a popular card. This might be worth sending off to PSA. Uh, let's go to some Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield is a little tricky because, to be honest, like, all the stuff that we're looking for is full art or better. For its supporter or secret rare. So the bar is pretty high for these packs. But again, we've been doing pretty good at picking up some ultra rares, uh, like the various Vs and whatnot. Drampa. We well, hope everybody's having a good day and as well as a good weekend. I feel like uh, summer is quickly ending. Although it feels pretty fast because we, or at least I'll speak for myself, didn't get to enjoy the summer like a uh, typical, like a uh, typical summer. That is for sure. Skaroopy to Grappalock. been a while since we pulled like a Zacian. I think I wouldn't like uh, Zacian, regular Zacian will be, because they had those promo boxes, you know, feel like regular, regular um, Zacian, regular art Zacians are just okay. The full art would be nice though. 
All right, let's see. Hoot Hoot into Horvin Knight. All right, Tapu Coco. I um, feel like I don't see too many Tapu Cocos anymore. Uh, I feel like, was it, has it just been because he got replaced by Bolton or something? But either way, I feel like I saw him a little bit uh, when he first came out with um, Pika Ram. Kind of has that free retreat. But that's probably about it. I mean, sure, you can draw some cards, but if you're using Spike Draw, I feel like that's a, <laughs> that's a turn you're not exactly thrilled with. All right, if we fail to get like a full art or better, we'll pick up, we'll pull in a couple more packs for this opening. And reminder, we do have a Patreon page. The link is always below in the description. And we are offering some pretty good deals for breaks. We're offering these 10, 10X of these double pack blisters. Ooh, make do Chinchino reverse, not too bad. And a Whimsicott. Uh, yeah, you can get 10 of these. For the low price of $30. And ooh. We also still have Hidden Fates tins for the MSRP of $20. I'm pretty sure as of at the moment, you can't really find those anywhere for $20. And oh, huge announcement. Come. Alright, so it's not finalized yet, but I'm pretty sure we will be able to offer breaks of the Champions Path products or the product basically the only product I think is worth opening more than one of which is of course that Charizard ETB box there we go Zamazenta Ooh, now might be Zamazenta's time to shine uh, Senta Scorch feels really strong and this could be a counter and could be you know ADPZ versus Senta Scorch is interesting because ADPZ always has the opportunity to just you know Boss, boss, a Dedenne, and something else for the win. But, Set to Scorch can one shot Zacians without metal, uh, without frying pans. No frying pan, two energy, one shot. Really strong. So, it's an interesting matchup. Sama Senta could be a very smooth counter against Set to Scorch V Max, at least. But, uh, yeah, so the Charizard V Max. ETB for Champion's Path, we will have those, and we can offer, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to offer those at $40 a break come end of September and month and month of October, so if you haven't checked out the Patreon page, I definitely recommend you do so, breaks for the VIP patrons, and shout outs to all my patrons, my current patrons, thank you all for the support, oh wait, that's a Gathita, that was the other one, Piers. Dino, all right, so far, you know, we're getting a good number of hits. Uh, nothing too crazy good. Glissapod is interesting. Hard slash times, note that it's just a double colorless, so you can even use the twin energy. 50 more damage for each Pokemon V and GX in play. The GX is really relevant. It feels like it's that uh, that tag team, the, the um, Mega Lopening tag team. What I think is Jumping Balloon Attack which was actually really strong for a while. All right, back to Sword and Shield. All right, in Italian, not this Italian, but heard some potential that the Shady Dealings Italian could be really good, uh, basically as a pretty hard counter to the Center Scorchers out there. Ooh, shout out to everyone that anyone that is participating in the pod tournament this weekend. If you are, let me know how you do, whether it's through a YouTube comment or in our Discord channel. Fortunately, I was not able to participate, but I think it's an awesome tournament that they have set up there. And a Manectric. Alright, things have cooled off a little bit, but with these kinds of products, you know, it's not a booster box, so the pull rate could really be anything. And, uh... Yeah, while we hope for the best, I suppose nothing should be that surprising. There's a Shady Dealings. What's the other one called? Is it still Shady Dealings? Or Intellion? Alright, we got Diglett into Trudel. Oh, the new turtle. He looks so weird. He is a little turtle with a Meeseeks from Rick and Morty for a head. And I don't, I'm not crazy about it. Alright, certainly have cooldown. Let's heat things back up real soon. 
All right, so I think we'll, we will do a Pokemon in the near future. I think Darkness Ablaze has been out or like people had access to picking up the cards long enough that, you know, I imagine the price should be somewhat stable and we can kind of see where things are landing. I believe the Charizard, which again, we pulled yesterday. Check out the live stream from Thursday evening. I think that guy's sitting around a nice round $100 on TCG player. It will be interesting to see what happened. Ooh, Lugia. Cool art, boring card. Once Champion's Path comes out, uh, we do know they have the full art version of that card, as well as speculating that the Rainbow Rail will be in there as well. So we'll see how that affects things. All right, if we don't find anything else, we'll grab two more of these blisters. Four more tries at something fire. Larvitar, Golet, a Arctovish, very weird name, and then a Diggersby. Alright, three packs remaining. Reminder, if you do play the online game, check out our streams on YouTube and Twitch. We do giveaways. The giveaways primarily work through Twitch, though, so even if you do plan on watching on YouTube, it would be good to just create a Twitch account so you can participate in the marble giveaways. All right, Ordinary Rod in into a Raichu. All right, two packs remaining. Okay. And lastly, as always, guys, appreciate all the support on the channel. If you do want to support the channel, uh, we have some various links down below, including uh, like a Game Nerds affiliate link. Ooh, Gengar. I do like that art. You know, this was an interesting card when it first came out. A lot of people, at least at League, were considered brewing something with it. Uh, I don't think anything came out of it. But yeah, we also have our Twitch stuff, Patreon, etc. So appreciate everyone that does support the channel. Big parcel, parcel. We did pull a secret version of that. Not too long ago. All right, Cub Chew, Mel Metal into just a Coco. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, we got four more tries. We'll go through these pretty quick. Don't want this video to be too long. But let's just get one more hit. So out of 20 packs, three hits. Uh, I guess that's close to kind of like Actually, no, that's a little bit less than like a booster box ratio. Which, again, we can't really have... Obviously, we hope for the best, but uh, expectations... You know, it's hard to set expectations for like these kind of products. It really could be anything. Alright. Dark Tricks, a error. Oh, boy. I will need to fix all that in a little bit. Wishy-washy, Pan Sage, a Tauros, Clink Clang, and then oh, a Selgor. Believe it or not, this is a rare. A stage 1, 70 damage attack. Very, very boring. Alright, two packs remaining. You know, I think I might actually uh, skip, the, skip the commons to go like this. Alright. Ooh, Metal Saucer. Take it. Big Charm. Poke Gear. Into a Syndrace. And final pack for another. Mm, so far, definitely not the strongest of our double blister opening. Double pack blisters, but we do know there's a lot of potential. People have been messaging me like, yeah, actually, a lot of people are getting some crazy pulls. Some people said, actually, their Darkness of Blaze has been awesome, where ours is, except for uh, Thursday, has been the exact opposite. All right, Nicket, Bound Sweet, a Zuelis into a Scissor. All right, we did get our fourth hit. Shoutouts to Scissor on Twitch. Um, yeah, I wish Scissor was a little bit better. Would be kind of cool to, ah, eh, these are another metal type though. But we did get our fourth hit of this opening and uh yeah so as always guys thanks for watching 
Um, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.